At Aurora Medical Services, we provide surgical abortions from as early as your pregnancy ter test turns positive till 18 weeks of pregnancy. Our goal is that your abortion procedure be comfortable, safe, performed with the best medical evidence, and that you are treated with respect from beginning to end. Your education about the procedure begins from your first telephone call. Our staff who answer the phone will take time to ask you questions to help us determine how far along you are in your pregnancy, if you have any medical needs that we need to address prior to you coming in for your appointment, and make sure you know all the instructions and understand what the procedure entails. When you arrive at our office, you'll be given some paperwork to fill out. This includes your medical history, a form that will help us determine how you're feeling about your abortion procedure, and also some information to read about the abortion process. When you're done with that, you'll be taken back to our patient education room, where one of our staff will meet with you one-on-one -on -one to go over the procedure. It's very important to us that this be your choice to have an abortion, and the very beginning of this talk is always done with just you and our staff member. After it's determined that the abortion is your decision, if you would like, your partner, your friend, or your parent can come back into the room with you for the rest of the procedure. Your time in the patient education room will involve discussions of your medical care up until this point, your feelings about the abortion, and then go over in detail the process so you understand from beginning to end what is likely to happen. We'll also at that time discuss what you would like to do for birth control when the abortion procedure is over. While you're in the patient education room, you'll also be given your first medicine that will help with pain both during and after the procedure. When you're done with your conversation there, you'll be brought back to a procedure room much like the one I'm sitting in now. In this room, you'll have your blood pressure and pulse taken. You'll have a finger poke which will help us determine what your blood type is and if you're anemic and then you'll meet the doctor. When I come in the room, I'll introduce myself to you, and then we'll go over your medical history. If I have any questions about your health care up until this point, we will discuss it to make sure I don't need to change my procedure in any way to make sure that you're safe. After going through your medical history, we'll take one more time to go through the procedure and make sure you understand what's going to happen, and then sign your informed consent. After we've signed your informed consent, I will go ahead and do a pelvic exam which helps me determine how far along in the pregnancy you are and which way your uterus goes. We'll follow that up with an ultrasound to give us a more exact measurement of how far along in the pregnancy you are. If you have opted to have our intravenous pain medication at this point, you will be given that. We only allow you to have intravenous pain medication, however, if you have someone driving you home. While your pain medicine is starting to work, we will get our instruments set up, and from that point on, the abortion procedure begins. It begins when I insert a speculum, and then we will numb your cervix with a series of injections of local anesthetic. Some women feel this as a pinch or poke, some feel it as come and go cramping, and some don't feel it at all. Once your cervix is numb, we'll open up your cervix one millimeter at a time with a series of tapered instruments that are designed for this purpose. I'm going to open up your cervix a very small amount, sometimes just six millimeters, sometimes as much as about one centimeter, but never significantly more than that. During the process of opening your cervix, again, you may feel some cramping. It's usually not significant. Once your cervix is open, we will place a small tube into your uterus that's attached to a suction machine. Sometimes we use a handheld suction machine, sometimes an electric vacuum pump. You won't feel much of a difference based on which we use. The significant difference is the vacuum pump, the electric pump makes noise, and the other one doesn't. The actual suctioning out of the pregnancy takes somewhere between two and four minutes in the first trimester of pregnancy. During that time, you may feel some cramping and tugging. When the procedure is over, you may also feel a slight increase in cramping. The way a uterus stops bleeding is by contracting, and like with a period, a woman feels that as cramps. Once we're done, the speculum will come out. We will put you in a more comfortable position to relax, and I will then step out and look at the pregnancy tissue to make sure we have completed the procedure. 
when I'm comfortable with that, I'll come back in, make sure you're doing okay, and we'll go over your birth control options at that point and make sure all your questions have been answered about what to expect once the abortion procedure is over. One of the questions people ask most frequently is what, what they can expect in terms of their bleeding and cramping once they leave our clinic. What I like to tell women is it's really variable. Some people bleed like a period starting on the day of the procedure. Some people don't bleed until their next period, which should come four to six weeks after their abortion. The vast majority of people fit somewhere in between these two extremes. In terms of pain, most people do quite well with just over-the-counter medications, the same as you might use for your period, ibuprofen, Aleve, if that's not helping you, we want to hear from you and we're happy to try to make you more comfortable with stronger pain medicines that we can phone into the pharmacy near you. In terms of activity, most people do quite well. We tell you to do activity as tolerated. As you're up and about, you might find you're a little more crampy with a little more bleeding, but for most people they can resume their normal activity the same day or the day after the procedure. For women who've been very nauseated with their pregnancy, one of the nice things is that nausea goes away almost immediately, usually later the same day and certainly by the next morning. In terms of birth control, we hope that we can help you figure out what's going to be the best method for you. If you would like an IUD or an Implanon or a Depo-Provera shot, we're happy to have that done the same day. If you're going to start birth control pills or birth control patch or the birth control vaginal ring, we'll give that to you to get started on in the next day or so. In general, we like to see you back two to three weeks after your procedure to make sure everything is fine and that you're doing well and that you've started back on your birth control and have no questions. In the meantime, however, we are always at the other end of the phone and appreciate your questions and understand that when you get home, you may think of things you forgot to ask when you were at the office. So please feel free to call us. At Aurora Medical Services, once a pregnancy reaches 14 weeks, we change our procedure to accommodate the fact that the pregnancy is a little bit bigger. We need to open your cervix a little farther, and we do that safely by making it a two-day process. On the first day when you come to our office, the procedure is much as described, going through patient education, coming back to the procedure room, having your finger poked, meeting with the doctor, doing an informed consent, and having an exam and ultrasound. Instead of having the abortion procedure that day, however, we will put seaweed dilators into your cervix that stay in overnight. Overnight, they open your cervix slowly, thereby preserving its health, so that if you choose to have children in the future, your cervix will still be working for you. During that evening and overnight, some women experience some cramping, some women experience some nausea, and some women feel just fine. We'll send you home with pain medicine just in case you need it. The next day when you come to our office, you will come to the back without going through the patient education route, and you'll be brought to the procedure room. In the procedure room, we'll place an IV, and that IV allows us access to your veins in case we need to give you fluid or in case you need more pain medication. The actual procedure is much like that described in the first trimester, only we use slightly bigger and slightly different instruments. In addition, the procedure is done under ultrasound guidance, so during the procedure, you'll have the ultrasound probe on your abdomen, and you'll feel some pressure from that. The procedure total takes about 10 to 20 minutes, with the actual emptying of your uterus usually lasting between five and 10 minutes. How you'll feel afterwards is not significantly different than what I described after a first trimester procedure, or that up till 14 weeks. We encourage you to call with routine questions during office hours, but there's someone on call 24 hours a day should you have urgent needs. Please don't hesitate to call us. Our goal is that you be comfortable and well informed.